So for you with short attention spans, this is Logic Pro X running on uh, the M1 CPU with native plugins. I got to around 160 tracks using Alchemy on uh, great settings, channel EQ, a compressor and a Saturn 2 plugin from FabFilter on all of the 165-ish tracks. Here we are, and just to clarify, this is Logic Pro running in native mode, so this is not translated through the Zeta. All of the software here is updated for the M1 CPU, and that's what I'm just going to take a look at now and see how the performance is. I have two tracks here. I have one using uh, Alchemy and I have another track using the Retro Synth. The Alchemy quality is set to great and uh, it's basically playing this melody here. And you can see the CPU meter in the corner there. And as for settings in Logic Pro X, we have uh, 128 buffer size 8 cores and uh, 4 high performance cores here and everything else is uh, stock. Uh, it should be that at, at least. This is not really a, maybe a realistic uh, project but uh, we can I think we can add an EQ to each and every track here because I guess that we are always EQing some of our tracks when we produce so that's more realistic. I think we can add some gain reduction as well here. Uh, just to add some plugins. We can uh, reduce this a little bit. And we can add some gain reduction here. Like so, maybe something like that. And then some third party effects here from uh, Fab Filter. They have newly updated their plugins. So, uh, Saturn 2 here is this uh, Saturator plugin, and uh, this is also working. Let's just uh, play a little bit with the Saturator plugin here. Okay, something like that. And now I guess we can duplicate some of these tracks and see how the uh, computer responds to that. Okay, so now I have 20 tracks here. It's a 19 with uh, Alchemy and uh, all of these tracks have uh, the same uh, effects here as well with Saturn as well. And let's just see how that works. So we can see that the CPU is around 25. Around 25% CPU usage with 20 tracks of Alchemy, EQ, Compressor and Saturn third-party plugin. Let's try 50, see how that works. Okay, so here we have 50 tracks with the same plugins. Let's check it out. It's uh, playing just fine. And we are around 50% CPU usage or at least processing threads here. I have to turn on my PC in the background to add some light here. Okay. I think we can uh, try to get to a uh, hundred tracks and see if it's able to handle that. Okay, so hundred tracks and uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we can try. So, 100 alchemies, 100 EQs, 100 compressors, 100 fab filter Saturn 2 plugins here. You can see that adjusting the plugin is it's no lag here. It's smooth. Let's turn up the volume here. Let's see if we can hear any crackle. I 
we can't hear any crackle here and you can see that the gain reduction is going here as well and uh, you can see that the animations are smooth there is no kind of lag here and um, the performance is around 80 percent with a hundred tracks and I can just go into the melody here like everything is is working I guess we are nearing the limit but uh, maybe we can add uh, 30 more and see how that works okay so 130 tracks let's see if that works That works as well. You can scroll here. You can scroll up. You can select, open up the plugins. You can adjust them. Okay. What if I open up Logic? in preferences and I set the IO buffer size to 64 instead. Let's see what happens then. So it's thinking a little bit. And it actually crashed. Look at that. So not entirely 100% stable. Let's see if we can uh, Rescue our project. Look how fast it's loading all of the things. And there we go. Let's check out the settings. Okay, it's so what 128. Let it be at 128 then, I guess. Let's try to duplicate some more tracks and uh, let's try to get it at 150. 150 tracks. Let's try it out. Let's open the CPU meter here. Let's open up activity monitor. Let's take a look. So as you can see here now, you can see that the CPU usage in Logic Pro here is almost at 100% here. We have one thread on the side here that is not full, I'm not sure why. But you can also see there at in Activity Monitor that Logic Pro is actually utilizing the CPU in this machine very good. So it's at 80% here. So this means that Logic Pro is able to utilize the entire uh, CPU really good. So there is not that much overhead. And I can mention that this is also the 16 gigabyte version of this MacBook Pro. So okay, so 150 track works well. Let's try 200 then. Why not? 200 tracks. Still when the system is idle, it's actually using quite a lot of CPU, even if I haven't pressed play. Do that now and see if this works. Okay, I guess we hit our limit there. 200 tracks with Alchemy on great settings, channel EQ, compressor and Saturn 2 from FabFilter, that was too much. Dial it down to 190. Let's try it out. Okay, that was also too much. 180. Almost. 175. Almost. 170. 165. 
So 165 tracks on the uh, entry level MacBook Pro or it's not the entry level, it's the one with 16 gigabytes of memory, but other than that, it's the entry level MacBook Pro. 165 tracks with Alchemy, Channel EQ, Compressor and Saturn 2. As you can see here, you also got a system overload. So I guess that's about 160 tracks. And remember that all of these plugins are native to the M1 CPU and also the Fab Filter Saturn is native now, updated. So this is what happens when you try to load up Logic Pro X on this type of machine. Do you think that 160 tracks is enough for your projects? Let me know in the comments below. I think that if you use optimized software on the M1 MacBook Pro, I think it definitely can be used for music production. The performance is really interesting in my opinion and when the software is getting updated to the M1 CPU, I think you can absolutely can use these type of computers for music production. Let me know what you think about this video and again if you want to download some of my Ableton Live projects and other stuff check the links in the description below to links to my site, Spotify page and uh, other pages around the internet. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see some more stuff about this MacBook Pro let me know in the comments below. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.